close your eyes, place your hands in your laps, and watch the breath coming in and going out. Try to notice where you feel the process of the breathing. Focus your attention there. Don't clamp down too hard, but don't slip off easily either. Try to find the right amount of pressure so the breath feels good and the mind feels steady, staying with the breath all the way in, all the way out. You want to make your attention as continuous as possible, because otherwise you don't see connections. Your experience is like, connect the dots. There's a dot here and a dot there, and you draw the line. But who knows if that's the actual line? What was, what was it that actually connected those dots? You don't know. You're just making up lines as you go along. It's because of this that we don't really understand our own minds. We don't understand why it is we're causing suffering. So to get through this ignorance, we have to make sure there are no gaps in our awareness. That you're aware all the way in through the in-breath, and if there's a pause, you're aware all the way through the pause, and then as the breath goes out, you're aware all the way. One way of helping to make sure that you stay with the breath is trying to be sensitive to the spot where the breath tells you, okay, now is enough. Don't stop before you get there, and don't continue breathing in or out when you reach that spot. That means you have to be very sensitive. What does the body need here? What feels good for the body right now? Which parts of the body are getting overworked with the breathing? Which parts are starved of the breath energy? Can you even things out so everybody in the body gets its share of his or her share of energy? In other words, to stay continually with the breath, you have to make it interesting. And it is an interesting thing, this process of energy moving around in the body. It has an effect on our heart rate, it has an effect on our blood pressure, it has an effect on the nerves, it has an effect on every organ in the body. And if you get sensitive to it, you begin to realize that you can treat a lot of your illnesses just with the breath. Things that are heavy may get lighter, things that are lighter may just actually go away. So here's your chance to explore this possibility here. And at the same time, you begin to see what's what and what's connected to what inside the body and inside the mind. Because it's only when you see the connections between cause and effect that you can see, oh, this is the stress that I don't like, but it's coming from this action that I do like or that I do habitually without thinking about it. When you see that connection, you realize there are alternatives. You don't have to do those things that are causing stress. That's how the burdens on your mind get lighter and lighter. Because fortunately, the stress that weighs down in the mind is not something that comes from outside. It's what the mind does to itself, which means that the mind can be trained not to do that anymore. You don't have to go and ask somebody else to stop making you suffer. You can turn around and look inside and figure out, well, what am I doing to make myself suffer? You can work on that. And when you're done with that, that means that there's no more burdens on the mind. So it takes some time to pay attention here, to pay attention continually all the way in, all the way out through the breath. So you can see the things that you used to miss or used to skip over, because there's a lot of interesting things in those gaps. <laughs>